I am so excited to show you an in-depth look at the new Appish Digital Planner. I have truly put countless hours into creating a sleek, minimal, and intuitive planner that will be able to fit all your planning needs. The Appish Digital Planner is designed to look and feel like an app, but have all the functionality of a digital planner. Now, just to be clear, Appish is not an app even if it looks like one. Appish is a digital planner that was designed to use in your annotation app of choice such as GoodNotes, Noteshelf, Zoto, and more. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that Appish has all the bells and whistles without having too much. With that being said, Appish is also the first digital planner to offer both light mode and dark mode within the same planner. That's right, there's no need to stress over which color scheme you want to buy or buying two separate planners so that you're able to have the best of both worlds because you'll be able to seamlessly toggle between light mode and dark mode all within Appish. I can't wait to show you this planner, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing when you purchase your Appish digital planner is you will have two files. This one is your 2022 planners because when you purchase Appish, you will receive the rest of 2022 so that you can go ahead and get started planning right away. And then this file will include the 2023 planners and you have your Monday and Sunday start. In order to import into your annotation app of choice, you're going to select whichever planner you want. I'm gonna choose the Monday start and then you will share it and I'm gonna select GoodNotes because that's the app that I'm going to be using. You'll then click import as new document and then import to documents and you'll wait for it to import. Once your planner is imported, it will immediately open up to this dashboard page. So here you're going to see just kind of the layout, get a little information about Appish, and then you have all the links to my social media outlets here. So if I click on those, it's going to show you that that is an external link and ask you if you want to go to that. If you click yes, it will take you there through your web browser. And then down here are some additional supports for you if you're getting started with digital planning or you need assistance using your Appish Digital Planner. And then here you have all of your planner content so that you're able to easily jump from this page to whatever week that you're looking for in your planner. And then over here on the side is your dashboard kind of sidebar. This will take you to all of the main sections of your planner. So if you wanna switch from light mode to dark mode, go to your year at a glance or any of your quarterly overviews, as well as your notes pages, which you have lined, graph, dotted, blank page options. And then you also have an overview of 2024. And then of course, up here at the top, you have each of your months to quickly go to your monthly calendars. Beginning with our year at a glance page, you see here that you have a nice overview of 2023. And then you also have the quarter that each month belongs to and then the weeks as well. Everything on this page is hyperlinked. So if I clicked on July 1st, it is going to take me to the July 1st daily page right away. Same with the quarterly tabs, it'll take me to that quarter overview. And the same thing with the weeks here, you have your weeks nice and numbered. So if I click on that one, it's gonna go ahead and take me to that weekly view. Showing you the quarterly overview pages, I love these quarterly overview pages because they are so helpful just as a business. Again, you have your little mini calendars here, and if you click any of those weeks or days, it will take you to that um, page. Then you have a section here that's gridded, that's nice and gridded for easy writing that allows you to write out your priorities and notes for each month in that quarter. So you have a page for quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and of course, quarter four. Going over to the monthly pages, if you click these at the top, it will take you to that month and you'll notice here that it highlights that month so you know exactly where you are. You have a nice monthly calendar here and not only do you have one monthly calendar, but you have three different monthly calendars so that you can separate your personal work and other lifestyles. If you like to keep all of your planners in one, you can definitely only use one, but you do have the option to change those up based on the different areas of your life. On your monthly template, you have um, the weeks lined out for you, and then of course the days, and these are also hyperlinked. So if I want to go ahead and go to week one, I can click there and it'll take me directly to that link one page. Going back, if I click on any of the dates in the calendar, it will automatically take me to that specific daily page. 
So for each month of the year, you have three bonus pages. You have your goals, wellness, and finances. So when you click on any of these, it'll take you to that template. This goals page is perfect for planning out different goals, whether that's a habit, a financial goal, anything that you have going on. You have your wellness page for tracking your habit, medication, sleep, and then something custom if you have something else you would like to track. And then of course you have your mood over here and a nice section for you to put your key and then track your mood for the entire month. The last one are finances, and this allows you to break it down into expenses, uh, things that you've purchased, and then deposits depending on your different sources of income. Next thing that I wanna show you and possibly my favorite thing is the weekly pages. There are three different weekly templates just like there were three different monthly calendars. However, these weekly templates are different. So you have the classic one, which is this one, a great section for you to write down your to-dos for each day, your weekly priorities, and then kind of a master to-do list. It also has a section for you to plan out the next week and then a nice gridded note section here. Moving over, you have an hourly option that is hyperlinked. This allows you to plan out the days in your week down to um, the half hour with a nice hourly grid here. This is perfect for time blocking and really getting specific with what you need to do. Perfect for time management. And the last one is the minimal weekly template. This is really just a catch all. You can really get creative with this by decorating it with stickers, color coding, writing out to do's or anything else that you need. But I really do love this minimal template. And just like everything else, all of these dates here are hyperlinked to that specific daily page. So you're able to flip back and forth super easily. So you see that that took me directly to January 6th. And then right here, it shows you the week that that date falls in. And if I click this week, it will take me right back to that weekly template. Same thing with the hourly and the minimal. If I click here, it's going to take me to that weekly page, or excuse me, to that daily page. Looking at this daily page, it was designed to be extremely sleek and minimal to give you the opportunity and freedom to use it however you'd like, whether that's traditional planning or memory planning or anything else. You have lots of blank space to use to decorate with stickers and widgets, doodles or drawings or anything else that you want to put here. You do have your hourly timetable to put your to plan out the specific hours for that day, a nice little checklist here, and then the rest is just a blank gridded template for you to decorate or use however you need to. Again, looking at these notes templates, you have a lined graph dotted and blank template and clicking on each of these will take you directly to that template. I think that the graph template is my favorite. I'm a big grid line kind of person. You may not be able to see it because they're very faint, but the line's right there. Same with the dotted, that's probably my second favorite. They're also very faint, and that's so that your writing pops out instead of the template itself. And then of course you have a 2024 overview because I know a lot of people like me like to go ahead and get a look at the next year. However, remember that this is dated for 2023. So none of these dates on the 2024 calendar will be hyperlinked. So you can't click on any of these and go to that page because this is only set up for 2023. Now, like I said, this planner is the first planner on the market to offer both light mode and dark mode in the same planner. So you see here that you have your light mode and dark mode toggles. If I click on dark mode, it's going to take me to that exact page, but in dark mode. So if I go to week four of February, it's going to take me back to light mode on that specific week. So you can easily toggle back and forth and this is great because you pretty much get two planners in one, which is amazing. But also it allows you the opportunity to use um, different templates depending on the stickers that you want or even just how you're feeling for that day or week. So I'm gonna go to quarter four and I'm gonna go back to light mode and it's just super easy to switch back and forth. Same with if I go to a calendar, Don't forget that Appish is available on October 1st to purchase. If you pre-ordered your digital planner, you will be getting that in the next couple weeks.